The first day of school is Thursday. District officials say it won't be perfect, but it will be better than last year and they're ready. On Monday, Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio was joined by other leaders of the district to assure parents everyone is ready for the first day of school. Chief Operations Officer Dr. Rob Polk said one thing making a difference in busing this year, having an internal routing team. Um, our two primary routers are folks that were bus compound coordinators for over 20 years that understand the streets of the city, understand the populations of our schools, understand our attendance zones and such. JCPS says as of Friday, they have 560 bus drivers for 510 routes, but an average of 50 or so call out a day. So we are right at right now the amount of bus drivers and routes. Um, which is better than we've been in a long, long time. There are also 14 TARC drivers who have all of their certifications to drive for the district, while 56 TARC drivers are still in the process of finishing those certifications. Any additional uh, routing that we would do would be uh, dependent upon having 70 bus drivers. 14 would not do anything for us as far as adding back routes. Polio said it's important for parents to know their child's bus stop and bus number ahead of the first day. We would ask parents, please make sure that you are uh, playing a big part in the success of that first day. Outside of transportation, district leaders said each school will have a nurse and they're adding additional nurse practitioners. Free breakfast and lunch will be available for all students. And JCPS police will have 40 officers in place for the first day, along with nine district security monitors. Their goal is to have 55 officers by next month. That will give us one officer assigned to every high school uh, and middle school. Folio says he's excited for the new school year. Inside of our schools, what's happening is better than it's ever been, and just very proud of that work. Madison Elliott, WLKY News.